Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to RimWorld. Specifically, our lovely little Rim cult going on here. Uh, I also noticed in Alpha 16, not only, not only are we... Huh. Oh, you know what? Better way to show that would be here. As you can see here, New Arkham, Gaslighters. You can actually name your faction as well. That's a nifty new feature. Also, I'm not entirely sure if it's a mod doing this. I'm going to go ahead and assume until told otherwise that this is just uh, a change in Alpha 16, which... I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, I suspect that this will open the doors to being able to do more stuff. However, uh, it is really, really complicated to look at, isn't it? That tech tree. And a little bit messy. Anyway, we're uh, currently, we're just building up our town. I spent some time getting everything in order. Apparently a giant uh, hunk of spacecraft has just landed in the middle of my uh, potato garden for some reason, which kind of makes me sad. There are a lot of random muffalo. Which I guess at least means we're not going to be wanting for food. Actually, hang on. Age four, seven, and six. Uh, what, what's the lifespan of a muffalo again? Fifteen, okay, so all of them are only, they're pretty young. Female, male, female, okay, so at least there are, you know, viable breeding options going on here. Also, uh, this is just a start for what our ultimate defenses are going to be. Uh, also, I intended to have doors here. So basically the idea is a double pair of doors. Uh, this outer pair of doors will probably be open. This one will be closed. And as you can see, the idea here is that you can then shoot people. I might even keep these closed. And the, I, this is just uh, the start. Also, as you can tell by the fact that there are rocks here, I just kind of... Just to get this campaign going, because I wanted to skip all of the kind of hassle of restarting everything, I, I did just kind of god mode in the basics just to skip the first few days and generally get progress going. Which is probably going to come back to bite me, because it, it, what's basically happened here by god moding in just the, uh, the basic start to our colony is that our wealth is going to be a lot higher than our actual uh, defenses will really allow us to defend. So, yeah. On the one hand, definitely cheating. And, yeah. They're not good stuff. But on the other hand, it is going to up the difficulty faster as well, so at the end of the day, it should balance out. At least that's, that was my hope when doing everything. Also, a note, I'm not entirely sure if this is new. I feel like there's always been, maybe there has always been a penalty for working on stuff outside, but it explicitly warns you these days. What's going on here? A local hare has gone mad. All right, we'll hunt that and kill it if we need to. Uh, also, you know what, Eaton, if someone messes with you, you attack them. Uh, Pearson, if someone messes with you, you attack them, and yeah, I mean our local cop better do. Oh god, oh god, someone shot Eaton in the head, and you've been bitten. Sims, for the love of God, don't don't do that. Like get a clear shot for goodness sakes. Like you shot Eaton. Oh wait, I guess you didn't actually shoot him in the head, did you? Apparently you just uh, it said headshot. Something said headshot. Someone got shot in the head. One of my cows get shot? No. All right. Uh, Eaton, what are you doing? You're mainly attacking the hare. All right. Yeah, you go rest and uh, Nurse Ajira here will, will take care of you so that you do not die a horrible, horrible death. Anyway, there's a lot of work we've got to... Oh, are you a viable chef? I have to assume you are since you're... Yeah, oh yeah, you're a master chef. You are... What the hell are you doing wandering around and... I mean, if, if that's how you want to go for a walk, okay. Uh, also, I don't have the realistic darkness mod on at the moment, so... Yeah. Let's take away some of the... Mood scenery. But it is good to have the... What? Oh, no. You wasted walls. Well, that's not good. 
Anyway, but I mean, overall, the town of Arkham going well. Could someone actually, yeah, prioritize building this line here? There you go. That way our extra power will actually go to the batteries and people will not die. Also, and by not die, I mean, we won't end up in a situation where all our food goes to waste, which would be bad. Let's also get a roof on this thing here, if necessary, which I assume it is, because this appears to be not roofed, which kind of concerns me, because I do not want uh, mortars to one day destroy us here. What's this? Pearson has begun obsessively writing pages of strange symbols. Ooh. Wait, why are you enhanced? Sanity loss. Minor. Okay, so you've gotten crazy, but that's enhanced you in some way. Well, that's good, I guess. Let's see. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure what affects cult mindedness. I should look into that. I mean, there. It might be random, maybe there's something that actually affects what causes people to fall victim to the allure of strange and mysterious things. Also, there's a random turkey up there. Oh, hello. What is this? Pearson has no memory of the writing, but is still slightly dampened from the sweat of their labors. It is a ghastly book filled with a strange alien language that is not readily understood. The ominous looking diagrams of ritual sacrifices and spells within the tome has some colonists unnerved by its occult nature, whereas others have proposed setting up a proper research center to further study the secrets held within. Also, music's really getting kind of loud here. Uh, um, 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 uh, where? Ah, there you are. There you go. I'm just gonna turn that down just a teensy tiny bit. There we go. That's much better. The Esoteric Order of... No, 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 no. We, we are, of course, the uh, children of the Holy Gaslight. As there is no... No eldritch thing that is far more ancient or more powerful than the Gaslight. After all, we already worship it with these gas lamps. And the gas... Little... The smaller lanterns that we keep in our bedrooms to guard us while we sleep. Alright, also, let's... Uh, Let's build this right away. Uh. Yeah, we'll just plop that over there for the time being. We'll, we'll build a proper church and everything later. But for now... For now... Yes. Yes, indeed. I really should try to tame the muffalo once we get some hay grass or something. I think that would be a good idea. Also, before I forget... Let's go ahead and smooth this. Also, I guess I might as well make everything. Could someone, hang on. Before you do anything else, could you uh, deconstruct this so that it's not blocking our, our potatoes? Or potatoes. But at least we got some more stuff out of that. Also, might as well make this into tilled soil. There we are. Uh, let's see. Cancel right there. Just to make it even more visible where all of the, uh, the farming is. Next time it rains, I'm killing that. Oh, hello. A villager named Blur has joined or has arrived and has joined the colony. She is a bartender obsessed in joining the new cult. Okay. Well, good for you. You also just magically appeared out of nowhere. Incidentally, let's see. Somewhere around here, there's got to be that crazy obelisk or... An alternative thing, right? I see nothing. So oh, there it is. I wonder. If I deconstruct it, could I just rebuild the monolith somewhere else? Or no? Also, I, I notice when I uh, hover over it that, yeah, there's like a little uh, spot right here. So I assume that means someone can pray to that. Anyway, also, you know what? It occurs to me. Another thing, I mean, besides the cool, awesome cultistness. That will be going... Oh, right, right, right. Unhappy nude. Blur, why are you unhappy as a nude? Frostophile psychopath... There's a lot of psychopaths in this colony. You like punching stuff to death, huh? You're also a bartender. What is your next greatest skill? I guess art, which... You know, we don't really have a lot of need for that. But why, why do you feel... You lack a bionic body part. 
well, we'll do something about that eventually. Oh, people like you. Well, that's good. You have some packaged survival meals. Oh, cool, I can actually tell him to consume it right away. You just have an awful button-down shirt, and you have no pants. Well, whose fault is that, honestly? I mean, you're the one who showed up to join the awesome cult without wearing any pants. I don't, I, I personally don't think that's my fault. But anyway, yes. Uh, Sims has begun plotting against us. Why are you plotting against us already? We haven't even done anything yet. All right, Pearson, what's your problem? Uh, you're paranoid, acquired the occult grimoire, a whole bunch of disturbed sleeps. Oh, right, you, you need a bed. Let's, uh, let's reinstall this. I guess you can sleep in here for now. I mean, that's not great, but it's better than nothing. While we build your house, which you definitely deserve. Oh, I hate wasting resources. That always makes me sad. Anyway, but right, right, right. I keep getting distracted here, so let's pause. Uh, basically, never thing. I might as well take a look at the map. Awesomely enough, because of the deep water here, it's sort of a natural defense. And also, I'm, I'm eventually going to pop this down and probably expand this. It'll be a never front that enemies can possibly kill us. And also, I'm kind of scared about this cougar here. So maybe I should just kill it now before, before we're all doomed. I mean, it is... Eh, it's not too hungry, but it is kind of getting there. There's also a timber wolf over here. Anyway, but yeah, let's continue with our explorations. There is something here, a potential forbidden wall of some kind. There's some steel lying around. I mean, it's a good thing, I guess, that I'm going around and taking a peek. Uh, this is, of course, dangerous because something could wander on in here. Eh, let's see. We have our super mega sloth, formerly known as a megatherium, as I recall. Uh, we have some mountains over here. We have a little building over here. I mean, sometime when we have nothing better to do, I'll probably deconstruct that for resources, because why not? Uh, just like there is more stuff we'll want to deconstruct and tear apart and generally do stuff over here. Uh, what else? What else is cool on this particular map? I mean, we have a lot of room to work with stuff here. This could eventually be opened up into a big farming area, some more houses down here. Uh, I feel like this could also end up being another source of mysterious forbidden wall stuff in which we can worship. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty cool map. I like it. And hopefully we have a fun time here. Unless this looks vaguely like someone kind of gripping their hand in a C shape or something. Or Godzilla, or just some guy with a really big chin. Who knows? Or I suppose a crescent moon as well. However you want to look at it. Anyway... All right, we're getting work done. And until... What are, what are we researching right now? We're, you know what? No one has even started brewing. Let us... Can I, uh... Like, do this instead? All right. Yeah, let's unforbid this. Which I guess means forbidding this. Well, I can't forbid that. All right. Uh, let's see. So, if I want... Probe deities. All right. Oh, right, we have to decipher the strange symbols first. All right, and that shouldn't take very long, as you can see there. There's a major break risk. Again, Pearson, poor guy. Oh my goodness, everyone is joining. We need more... This is not good. He is a government agent. Okay. And... Oh, dear God. That's... I've never actually had that happen before, but... Uh, that's gonna suck to be him. Jason Agent Roland. Interesting. Very interesting. You only wear... You have only pants on you. You do have some Yayo, which is not Psychite. You're also lazy, but you are kind. You're incapable of caring, cleaning, or plant work. Alright. Uh, I suppose I should kind of fiddle with this stuff here as well. Just because. Are you good at wardening? Kind of. Kind of good. Good enough. I mean, I'll, I'll make that a top priority. You're good at shooting stuff, so we might as well get you to do it when the need arises. You can also haul stuff. You can haul stuff. You can do that. All right, jolly good. I mean, agent, no. Agent, he won't hunt while he doesn't have something. A blur is idle and basically being absolutely useless. That's unfortunate. A blur, can I uh, maybe convince you to do some mining? 
Is there any mining I want us to do? I mean, we, we're always going to need more components, so I might as well dig those out. And I want to keep everyone busy doing something or other. Uh, maybe we also want to just order some more trees to be chopped down, just so we have a surplus. And hopefully some- yeah, hopefully someone actually builds this so we can get some stone cutting going here. Speaking of, I- I believe it is- I think it's, uh, crafting, which allows you to do stone cutting. So, yeah, we can get something going on there. All right, jolly good. All right, we also need defenses, which, you know, makes a lot of sense because we are inevitably going to have some nasty people show up. And it's probably going to... Why is this forbidden all of a sudden? Turn that off. Don't forbid it. Why, why does it keep getting forbidden? There's no normal research going on. No, 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 no. I, I said decipher the symbols. I don't want... There we go. All right. No. I call... Oh, because I didn't actually click research. What an idiot. Honestly. And who does this guy think he is? Just forgetting to actually hit... Okay, you're unhappy that you're naked. I get it. Oh, Blue and Agent are sharing a bed together. That's interesting. You also stole someone's bed. Cole's bed has been stolen by someone. Did you, um... Yeah, prioritize re... Who stole Cole? Whose bed is this, then? Poor people. All right. You know what? Let's uh, set owner to be... Why does it look like you're bloody? Was there a fight that I just ignored? Probably. Or someone is dying right now. It's hilarious. This guy has a shirt, but no pants. This guy has pants, but no shirt. And apparently, as long as you have pants, you're not... You don't consider yourself naked. I mean, whatever. And where's Cole? All right. You guys can share a bed for now. You'll bunk together and you'll like it. All right, why Why are you in such bad shape? What are, what's with all these bruises? There was some kind of fight. And I missed it because I was just rambling on about other stuff. I assume these guys are not... Was it because... Was it because... Uh, did it happen because you guys are sort of like opposite ends of the spectrum? No. All right. And you're mad that you're sharing a bed, but you'll get over that. We'll build some new houses. Oh, good. This is done. All right. Let's add a bill. Make... Oh, cool. This this feels like it's new. Uh, do until you have... Let's make, like, a whole bunch of them. 210. And then add marble. Do until you have... 210. And I think... Is, is there sandstone in here? Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, there is sandstone. So we'll add, we'll add that as well. Make sandstone chunks. I like this change right here. This is a very good change. All right. There we go. Do something like that. Beautiful. Lovely. Just the, the simple things, really, that little changes can do. Muffalo lever. We can make some clothes. Let us... Uh, electric smithy bench or electric tailoring bench. All right. I mean, put it outside. I'm going to have to build some proper stuff at some point. Uh, but that can wait. That can wait. I mean, this colony, so far, so good. But inevitably, things are going to go wrong sooner rather than later, probably. So my my main plan, let's actually pause and talk about this. Uh, effectively, what I'm going to do, like this is our last line of defense with uh, regular embrasures. Uh, I'm going to build... I, I mean, I feel since we've got the Medieval Madness mod, it would make sense to actually use kind of medieval <laughs> medieval stuff. All right. Now, the one thing that mildly confuses me about this mod as well is that this functions like a sandbag, which I assume means people can just walk over it. This also does the same thing as far as I can tell. So I have to look a bit more into this aspect of the mod, specifically... For instance, if having a wooden barricade right next to an embrasure, like the uh, Medieval Madness type, if, uh, like, crawling over this, because as you can kind of see here, keep in mind, uh, once an item is climbed over by an attacker, all items are adjacent, or uh, all items adjacent to that item no longer count as obstacles. In order to maintain effective deterrence, obstacle lines should be staggered with space in between for attackers to climb down and then have to climb back up again. 
So I assume what that means is, like, let's say this was a medieval madness ember sure, that I would want it right here. To slow them down a bit. I also noticed, when I was playing with uh, the medieval madness ones, they see it seems like attackers can get over those embershers pretty fast. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure out how I want things to be done, because basically I want to create, like, a layered defense system here, and I think I might eventually redesign this so that if attackers get through all the other defenses, there will be a small kill box. Like, I'm probably going to implement a kill box feature for sure, like, up here. Because this is, like, a, this is a secondary place, you know? And, like, similar idea here. That, like, our main line of defense where we want the enemy... Of course, then again, the kill box would encourage people to go through the kill box zone just the way it's designed, so... Eh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure things out on exactly how I want things to turn out. Because I don't think it'll be that difficult to create some kind of reasonable uh, sort of defensive system where we have like a multi-lines of defense where we can fall back easily with like some kind of access quarters or something. Where he's, in fact, that's probably what we want to do. Maybe build walls out like this with like a little access corridor. That would be difficult for the enemy to get into. And plus, you design this as best we can so that the AI will prioritize making a straight shot through here. And with things like yawn uh, murder hole here, where we can pour delicious burning oil on people, which will burn them most horribly, or catapults, which I also, now that I think about it, uh, mortars seem to be missing. Either that, I'm not sure if the Medieval Madness mod actually removes them or if I just need to... Oh yeah, there they are. I just need to research them. Simple. Anyway, so alright. So we decipher these and then we can start doing some more cool occult stuff. How do you successful cults? Let's see. Social skills, huh? Interesting, interesting. Alright. That's pretty cool. Cult deities, we can also learn to make cool robes and sculptures. There's all kinds of cool stuff. I, I, I really look forward to playing more with Medieval Madness, and Gareth Eaton is the one who's hauling stuff, apparently. And there's even more compacted machinery back here, which is awesome. I get it, you're unhappy that you don't have pants, but again, whose fault is that? You had every opportunity. Oh, God. Okay. You know what, I'm gonna... No, no, you know what? Yeah, you go ahead and eat that rat, as long as you're not attacking my cows. Also, I kind of hope my cows... I have one male cow. There you are. You're a bull. You're 19 years old. Holy shite. Wait, how old do cows live? Let's see. 22. But then again, you are a man. And if cow biology is anything like human biology, then you're probably going to be able to keep on making babies until the day you die. You know, unless you suffer other issues. All right, that's, that's good to know, though. All right, so we've got... Plus, then again, I guess, just because something works a certain way in real life doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work that way in a video game either. We'll see. All right, so we've got a pretty decent setup going on here, if I do say so myself. We are getting some nice farming. We're getting some crops. I might need to bake this bigger in order to make sure we actually have enough food to survive the winter? I don't know. Probably is my guess. Though I should probably expand on things. But at the moment, we're doing reasonably well for ourselves. And I'm not sure if I've actually seen anyone. Are we producing any more granite? I, I can't tell, to be honest. Since we have no granite blocks, I assume the answer is no. As Pearson researches, she feels like someone is watching her. Yes. Watching. Watching. Always watching. That really makes me wish there was a even closer zoom option. But oh well. We can watch nonetheless. It's crazy. In fact, you know what? These guys are a funny pair. I mean, you've got... You know what? I'm going to go ahead. Pause the game for a second here. I'm going to rename these people just because I find it hilarious. You're going to be top. And you're going to be bottom, because, you know, one of them is wearing 
top and one is wearing bottoms. And they're sharing a bed. They're heterosexual life partners who just so happen to be sharing a bed. It's, f it's funny, really. That's comedy. I don't really know exactly the comedy. Does this guy not have a face? Oh no, he's got a face. Okay, you scared me there for a minute, you, you silly. You're also completely naked. Good for you. Good for you. You're really good at cooking, though. Uh, but you are lazy. But you are pretty, so people will like... Will like hanging out with you. I like that. Alright. You go there, uh, Pearson. You go over here. I really need to open this up a lot more. And everyone else is going to be restricted to... Well, somewhere, eventually. Actually, I better fiddle around with the home zone to be even more safe. You know what else? Also, tell the animals... Why is this a home zone? This is all silliness. All absolutely silliness. This is not a home zone. That's just where we dump the corpses of all the people that have failed. They take us. All right. Let's, uh... Let's do I should try to tame the muffalo, shouldn't I? That would make a lot of sense. In my personal opinion. All right. We can, uh, do something like this. All right. And then we can restrict everyone into the home zone. You guys will be fine. Uh, you guys stay in the home zone, please. I mean, this is just one guy. There is no... Where are you going? Igniting cooler. Wait. Did I, uh... Did I somehow... Oh, there we go. Slow down time, please. Did you guys, uh... Get out here? What are you doing, Jung? Did we get even a single shot in on you? Also, why did I not close this door? Ah, uh, the things I do sometimes. Absolutely silly things I do. Oh well. Uh, who else had a gun? One of you had a gun. Who else has the pistol? Pistol, pistol, pistol. Skipping someone, aren't I? There you are. You can relax socially when you're dead, but for now, this episode has gone on just a tiny bit too long, so I'm gonna wrap things up here. Until the next time, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video.